Technicals made a video, a video called The Victims of Leffen. You guys like the fit? Opinions on technicals like this video. I mean, I, I'm only saying this because I actually addressed it on Twitter. Really funny. <laughs> Can't make money any other way. They don't have any talent or any other ways to remain clouded, as the kids say. I was going to put an ad here because I thought it'd be really funny, but um, I couldn't get it approved in time. Join the Patreon. It's only a dollar. You get in the credits. You can join the Discord, watch me edit these videos. My dad blew his back out trying to hit what? the video to 21 <laughs> yeah. Or you could leave a funny comment saying, Haha, free hacks, love the video tech, here's $50. That is also acceptable. Alright, that's enough for me. Uh, sub and enjoy the video. I'll see you later. You know, Leffen, most people wouldn't respond to an hour and a half of criticism within a single day. Four videos from Hacks, one technical video, one Mewtwo King video. It, it's so obvious, all of them use like fucking alt-right Andrew Tate language. Now show me where, on the hour and a half video essay, Andrew Tate touched you. Real f Tate Drake, real f Tate Drake. You know what I think? I think Leffen is... Just jealous that Tate is diamond handsing right now, uh, and that RNT is mooning, and that he's he's uh he's got a a bunch of FOMO because he didn't get in on the floor level, and that's really that's really no one's fault but yours. You shouldn't be projecting that onto other people. I'm gonna keep real Tate alive. My life was never breezy. The way that he punched down on me was classic, bro. He said, "Man, I can't believe you acting out like this, bro." He's like, "I know life sucks for you." but you ain't gotta take it out on me. I was like. Maybe that isn't it. Maybe you're not just upset that you missed out on RNT mooning. I get it. Maybe you just thought if you said alt-right, neo-Nazi, Trumper, Andrew, Tate Maxing, um. Out of all the hate from Smash QAnon, this one made me laugh the most. You won't believe number five. five. Dude, I don't get this. Is this like a Twitter thing? You're Swedish. What is this Ian Miles Chung LARP like you understand American politics? I've seen you swing, I know you swing. Honey, bring your boyfriend in here. They got him! QAnon is a decentralized far-right political movement rooted in a baseless conspiracy theory that former President Donald Trump is waging a secret war against the deep state, a cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles who control the world and run a global child sex trafficking ring. Well, now that you mention it, that that actually does kind of sound like the Smash community. Hold on, you you might be onto something here, Big Lef. After observing the Lethen in his natural habitat for the last couple weeks, I think I've pinned down a consistent cycle. Be an asshole, get criticized for being an asshole, over-exaggerate the criticism to deflect from it, and then cry about not being liked to farm sympathy. Leffen is a Smash player who is a complete dog and treats people like shit and then plays the victim and starts like completely having a mental breakdown whenever he gets called out on it. But now kids, since we know the cycle, let's look at a few examples and see if you can spot it. I've developed a word sheet for you guys to follow along, so as we're doing this, make sure you're paying attention. This isn't just a fucking movie day, okay? Timothy, I see you in the back. Ben, get your fucking pens out. I know your mom can't afford utensils uh, because she abandoned you last week, but this isn't a fucking charity, and this counts for 50% of your grade. <laughs> this is right after I posted my video. Uh, Leffen's first response was, Nah, the new season of Leffen Hit Pieces is so funny. Like making a one hour, 30 minute video video called, what the fuck is a video video? Video plus. Two times the video. <laughs> <laughs> video, video, video 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 called the victims of Leffen and including when I ratioed an Axel player on Twitter for lagging and then lying about it is so fucking hilarious. What will y'all come up with next? LOL. I appreciate that you tried to speak to me in a manner that I could uh that I could relate to. Let's ignore the fact that this is probably the smallest point in the video video and you completely missed how it was highlighting your fragile ego leading to an entirely unnecessary back and forth where your followers started making fun of his abusive living situation on his GoFundMe page. You lied about the one thing you took out of context. You didn't even ratio Mikozy. His tweet with your rage quit in it has over 12,000 likes and your quote retweet only has like 6,000. 
unless of course you're referring to the comments under your quote retweet, uh, but considering the significant amount of people you have blocked for just disagreeing with you, that's not much of a flex. Whoa, I ratioed him in the thread where no one who dislikes me can interact with me. Oh my god, I'm on a roll. Also, you didn't explain how I lied either. You can't just say I lied and then not actually explain what I lied about. That doesn't make any sense. This ain't shit that people come up with out of, out of thin air, bro. Like, this is shit that you did that people are like, yeah, I remember he did that shit. But let's entertain the possibility that I did lie. And it was such a convincing lie that thousands of people just believed it for absolutely no reason. How do you explain this clip a week later? It's for the count. Bro, it, we get counting out of the game. All right, GG's. Oh my God, what a horrible fucking game. I know that Slayer 5k beats White Wall Assault. It does not fucking matter, bro. They can just skip neutral after two seconds and you can't beat it. That's what Leffen does. If there's no hope or his mind's not in it anymore, he'll get the hell out of the game and he will rage quit. I am not whining just because I'm fucking salty. I'm whining every day, even when I win, because the game is just that fucking bad. Yeah, Leffen, keep hey, bitching, please. That's goat. my goat, yep. Not to pick on Leffen, but let, let's pick on this motherfucker. He tweets about how much like Strive is like, he likes Strive and he thinks the game is good. I've told him multiple times that if someone broke into my house and murdered my family, I would probably not be as mean and say mean things to them as like he says after he loses a game online. Oh, I'm sorry. That one's also probably a QN on conspiracy theory, right? To people making YouTube videos, everything's a conspiracy because that that sells more just like every time you sd'd in melee just because you were losing that's what back here's going to go yeah let's oh, we get a oh, oh, oh no left just off oh, the stage God. right now let's go left one stock away from getting through what what oh, can't rush this. this might be it oh, oh and, and he gives up wow going off stage i i cannot believe i play this game for money man i fucking hate my job man why is my job to play this fucking game game competitively and you're sitting here in a first world country you're sitting here with all the advantages you now have less money than a bangladeshi fucking villager because your ass is too slow why can't i just be a mcdonald's worker instead of getting paid thousands of dollars to play competitive video games oh boo hoo 3d leffin hate lies what about saying you'll quit melee entirely if they don't implement a ledge grab limit or an air stalling uh, nerf to Jigglypuff? Can we please fix the rules? You implement an air time limit. It air doesn't time have limit. to be egregious. Past this year, I won't be competing in melee if there's no stalling rules. If you don't patch Guilty Gear, I'm gonna fucking quit. I am 100% quitting Strive if the next patch does not improve things. I think it will though. Okay. Quit. Who gives a fuck, dude? You're one of the best fighting game players ever. I'm sure you'll find another one to eventually quit uh, because they didn't patch it the way that you like. You know what I did to Leffen? He was at a tournament at, at DreamHack in like 2020, I think, and he lost. And he started like crying like a little bitch, venting on Twitter. I was like, bro, stop whining. What, what the fuck are you yelling for? That's what I said. And then he just blocked me. Like, that's all it took. Some of the people in the Guilty Gear community that are deflecting all this criticism for you, like Zando, who compared you rage quitting in an online grand finals to uh, resigning in chess. That guy's been a tier one sub for 13 months. You even accused me of using a suicidal person for quick ad revenue. Ah, damn, you got me there. That would have been a great point to make uh, if you weren't the main reason he was suicidal. You're even acknowledging that you know he's suicidal, uh, but you're using the fact that I'm calling you out for contributing to him being suicidal. As Leffen gets better as a player, he only becomes worse as a person. So, uh, it really is that bad. Holy shit, I haven't had tears in my eyes in like uh, over a year. To morally grandstand as if you'd even give a fuck if he went through with it. Oh, Mewtwo King, I'm so sorry that you had to go through with all that, man. It's so fucked up that people force you to respond to a shitpost from Melee Hell. Not me, though. Not me. Uh, I didn't have anything to do with that, but man, that fucking sucks. I do think Leffen is part of the reason, but, you know, I'm also not gonna be stupid and be like, oh, he's the whole reason, and that's ridiculous, too. I'm mad at the part he played. I wanted to take the higher road, I guess, so when Leffen apologized to me, I knew that was like, okay, it may or may not be genuine. You know, you could take him for his word or not. I'd rather give people the benefit of the doubt, if possible. I don't know if that was the right or wrong decision. Why would you expect the proper response to be a private apology? Doing it privately is how you save face. And God bless Mewtwo King for being willing to forgive you, but everyone else can see through your bullshit. 
I can't wait to see that tweet. I can't wait to see that tweet after you've successfully killed off all of your competition. Man, it sucks to see that they're gone. Man, if only we could have done something. All you realistically have to do is let hacks play a game 3,919 miles away from you, and all of this would go away. It was all a dream. The only one with wild conspiracy theories about rooftop Koreans and hack sleeper agents waiting outside your door is you. You realize this is all over a Nintendo party game, right? Like, if you're gonna be a dick, just be one. Just own it? Yeah, but yeah. somehow this turned into me bullying him and... Leffen escalates the guilt tripping by insinuating that TK doesn't care about the safety of him or his family, and that he wouldn't want to be friends with someone enabling the criticism he's receiving. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <clears throat> I did kind of cook on that. Friends? I, I kind of cooked on that shit, bro. <laughs> How many people are your friend in this industry that aren't just your friend because you have 300,000 followers and are sponsored by TSM? The craziest part about Leffen doing this to TK Breezy is that he agreed with the criticism the entire time he was doing it. I'm definitely not gonna act like I'm not a, an abrasive person and that I never trash talk someone. And obviously I expect that to rub some people the wrong way. You know that you're an abrasive person who shit talks. But if someone else calls that out, you have a persona that is abrasive that people are not gonna fuck with, and you know that, and you still dig at people, but when they come fighting back, now you wanna be like, that's crazy, like people are harassed. I, I don't like that. They're now attacking the entire community, and you don't see how that's manipulative. I'm definitely not gonna act like I'm not a, an abrasive person. New Leffen combo deflect, parry, gaslight special into cry bully finisher. The Leffen cries out in pain as he strikes you. <laughs> as I've been mulling this over in my head, I've come up with a very important question that I think needs to be answered. Leffen, if you're so scared for you and your family's safety, uh. how come in the past three years you haven't considered getting, uh, I don't know, uh, a fucking restraining order? Surely if you got legal counsel three years ago when this was all going down, they would have told you that that was an option. You can get a restraining order, and then they <laughs> legally cannot get close to you. But instead, you've opted to make all these emotional pleas and cry to random strangers on the internet to keep hacks banned, which isn't even a legally binding standard, and in no way would keep you actually safe. Personally, I just think you're full of shit, uh, but you know that these tournament organizers will continue to blame hacks every time you have a bad dream. Did I jump scare you? Yeah, I bet I did, you coward. So you need to maintain this illusion of a constant perpetual fear and paranoia of the safety of you and your family, because otherwise, keeping him banned from playing a video game 4,000 miles away doesn't, doesn't really make all that much sense, does it? Oh, I'm unsafe. I see hacks everywhere I go. Leffen, are the, uh, are the death threats in the room with us right now? Oh, they are. If you're an internet persona getting shit, just say you're getting death threats. Then people can't criticize you as much, and if they do, well, they're contributing to death threats. There's some other non-arguments in here, like, oh, the two people criticizing me are banned, so their opinions don't really matter. I was banned for making a joke, and because I say things on my channel that people know are probably true but don't really want to hear, uh, you were banned for bullying a disabled person in your own community, and just generally being an asshole to almost everyone. Those are two, those are two entirely different things. Oh, but me and Hacks are just the crazy homeless guy, the crazy Jesus freaks on your way to work, screaming outside your window, screaming at you doomsday style. To me, it's not really any different. Well, I'm going to work, but I have to walk there, right? And when I walk there, it's fucking conspiracy theories, fucking saying that Jesus is coming, the earth is ending. You know, saying whatever the fuck at the cor corner of the street. You know that he's suicidal, though. You know that he's struggling with mental illness, but man, if he isn't some crazy homeless dude, am I right? But trust, guys, he's not gaslighting you. Everyone that hates him is, in fact, crazy. Fuck. That's pretty much it for Leffen's responses. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. It's all the same shit. Now it's time to talk about the Melee community's response to the video. I've been seeing this ethos argument made a lot as far as like credibility. Oh, I wonder what would happen if someone else made the same video. I understand worrying about someone's credibility. That makes sense as, as far as any narrator. But at what point do you realize that ignoring valid points with citations and evidence just because of your own bias uh, makes you the problem? 
Plenty of people are listening, plenty of people are tuning in, liking, and agreeing with what I'm saying. Technicals made this video entitled, The Victims of Leffen. It looks professional as hell. So what we're gonna do, because a lot of people are talking about that. If you guys don't know Smash Community Drama, Technicals. Gang Gang made a video talking about the victims of Leffen. I really hope that all parties involved here just can figure out something to find peace amongst the entire community. The only thing I think, I think hacks should be yeah, let Hacks play the game, bro. Uh, I don't think Hacks should be bad for life. Dude, the most the tech video did for me anything. was give me the information I already knew. Okay. Cause like, I don't need his opinion. I just need the facts that he actually delivers. And let me tell you, my boy be delivering the facts. I don't know how like anyone can can defend this, this like, like Leffen at all. He's good at the game. He is good, that's the thing. He, Leffen is good, he's good at Smash. There's no doubt he's, he's good at the game. It's just that he's bad at everything else in life. So what are you really trying to say here? That you'll only agree with people that you like? You don't have to agree with something because I said it. You can just agree with something because it's accurate. That's normally how that would work. But if you, instead you want to play team sports, trust that I'm a big hitter. Because everyone on the anti-hack side is locking their replies, blocking people disagreeing with them, and locking their accounts entirely. Steven, that we talked about from Frame 1, who also goes by Greg Turbo, that's his gamer tag, released completely unredacted legal documents that had not been available to the public, despite other people lying about it being available. If you go to the case lookup and search the actual files, the deposition documents were not publicly available. All of these people saying it's available are just linking you the how to look up the case, but they haven't actually fucking looked it up themselves. These deposition files, in like the first pages, contained hacked his complete home address. And people like Greg Turbo, Mikey, Willie P were saying that it was an incorrect address. The only part that was incorrect was the apartment number. Everything down to the building that he stays at was entirely accurate. Come outside with your hands up, Hacks. You're surrounded. Obviously, they don't want to admit that because then they'd be admitting that they're actively spreading and encouraging people to read a document containing his docs. But yeah, it was incorrect uh, in parentheses only. Steven posting that information completely goes against the code of conduct. And if Steven isn't banned as a result of posting his private information resulting in further harassment, this community's fucking cooked. If you want to sit here and cry about death threats, you can't post some guy's fucking address and then think that you're the good guys. You're fu- you're insane. You're fu- you're actually fucking insane. This Chroma guy who was clipping shit out of context from that legal document called me a YouTuber with a grooming allegation. That was a good tweet. I'm gonna say it. It was a great thread. It was a great tweet. It had a lot of good points. So now you're actually resorting to just making shit up to get more people to agree with you. Then it came out shortly after this that he made an entirely new Twitter account because Hbox called him out for making fun of his dead father. Super dope when someone permas me from their chat for one joke when they're just gonna be back in the DMs tomorrow. Wow, what a swell guy. What does he do at Melee Stats? What does Chrome do at Melee Stats? He's a financial consultant. You're a financial consultant in Melee? You might as well say, I'm homeless in bold letters. When I was looking into the Melee Stats page, as one does, I clicked all the tabs at the top and I wanted to see what kind of sick merch they had, what, what kind of merch I could maybe pick up in the future. If you click on the merch link and then go to the shop, there's actually nothing listed. Uh, you can't buy anything, there's no merch. Your financial consultant couldn't tell you that you need to actually put merch on your merch page to uh, make money. You know, there's this small startup, um, you guys might have heard of it, uh, they still sell merch actually right now if you want to go pick it up. It's called Panda Global. I got this varsity jacket, they actually have a bomber jacket too from the, uh, the final, the final cup. They lost literally everything and still somehow managed not to fuck that one up, so. Should probably go ask them for some tips. To get more into the nitty gritty with some of the details, Willie P actually responded to a few points in the video, like how I pointed out how they cited two entirely different rules from the code of conduct when permanently banning hacks. Uh, he said it was a typo. Yeah, no shit, it's a typo, that's the whole problem. This statement allegedly went through a few different hands before it was posted, right? Like, a few people saw this, and you left in a clause that says that he might have threatened to physically assault someone. And you don't see that as a serious fuck up. You can't make basic mistakes like that when it comes to discipline and dealing with conduct and then try to convince me that you actually give a shit. Stop pretending like, because you've known him for a decade, that you have his best interest in mind, and that you're trying to help him transition, but he doesn't want to hang out with you in Smash Fest. You think he shouldn't play the game for life, yet you're surprised that he's not going to your Smash Fest. 
You also tried to accuse Player Essence of misgendering, uh, when all he said was they. You guys aren't even trying to hide it at this point, like, it's just- The victim card is fucking maxed out. God damn. Everything about me is conspiracy theories, everything's lies. Andrew Tate's outside my house. He asked me what color my Bugatti is. Then you have people like Tafo, who hates that the video is sponsored and makes some straw man argument about, oh, TOs are so power hungry, they make so much money, an argument that no one made. Because they know, they know what's good for you. If you just keep listening to them, guys, who knows, maybe you'll lose another quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, keep listening to them. They know what- they know what's best. Fuck all this gaslight, girl boss, gatekeep bullshit. Let's just sit down and have a real conversation about it. It doesn't have to be me at the table. It doesn't have to be me. Get someone you respect, get someone you like, get someone, uh, who gets your dick wet, and they'll tell you everything that I'm telling you right now. But they'll do it in a way where your brain can actually comprehend it. What are you seriously afraid of? That some neckbeard with a CRT is gonna excommunicate you from all competitive video games? Baby Gronk secretly sold arms to Iran? Before I let you out of here though, one more thing. Can I get a free hex? Oh my god. I'm kidding! Get out of here! I'm not trying to get you I'm kidding! I'm kidding! It's a joke! It's a joke! Get out of here, Zane! Bye bye! <laughs> Look at how uncomfortable he is. Why is Zane this uncomfortable for such an inconsequential problem? What, Hacks made a YouTube video about Leffen being a dick? Oh wow. Call the fucking cops. Call the police. You guys will take photo ops with these people, you'll take photo ops with chairs, you'll give them hugs at the end of grand finals, like your friends, uh, but when they want to kill themselves, they're being doxxed and hospitalized and mistreated by your own community, you'll sit there and keep doing whatever the fuck you're doing as long as it makes you money. But just know that when it really mattered, for one of your own, someone who's been there in the community for over 10 years, someone who's given his life, his health, and everything that he is, to your community. Uh, if you're okay with him being gone, and this being the catalyst, then I guess, like, fucking, you know, kudos to you. Um, but I, I think that's fucked up, and I think if the only thing that he really wants to do in life is play Melee, just let him play the game. What do you seriously have to lose by letting him do that? It's not that serious. It is really not that serious. If Levin thinks he's unsafe because someone 3,919 miles away is allowed to play a, what is it, 23-year-old video game? Who's really the conspiracy theorist? The fucking wasp in here. The fucking wasp. You want some chess boxing? I'll show you some chess boxing. Ludwig, I'm giving you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Set up the match, me and Leffen. If you need someone to fight, I'm there. Set it up. Set up the match. I'm kind of black. He's Swedish. I could even talk like this the whole event, if that helps, for your diversity quota. Since you love charity so much, we can give all the proceeds to the Panda employees who never got paid for completely undisclosed reasons. Ludwig came in to try to save the community, but in doing so, that's really the final nail in the coffin that lost over 150 jobs. Ball's in your court, champ. 